former Fort Worth police officer received five years in prison for lying under oath. John Romer was found guilty in 2019 for making false statements to the grand jury about this 2016 confrontation when he punched a man in a hospital lobby. Fox 4's Dion Anglin gives us the update. Dion. The former police officer who was once sworn to uphold the law is now an inmate after finding himself on the wrong side of it. The case against John Romer culminated today in court. It is therefore the order judgment decree of this court that the defendant, John Preston Romer Jr., is hereby sentenced to five years confinement in the Institutional Division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Handcuffed and in custody, more than four years after a hospital lobby encounter was captured by surveillance cameras. Former cop John Romer, convicted in 2019 of lying under oath about what happened that day, now sentenced to five years in prison. There couldn't have been a more severe, aggravated perjury. All the lies that he told to cover up his excessive force. Romer was working an off-duty detail when he punched and body slammed 20-year-old Henry Newson. Prosecutors Friday revisited the case before the judge announced Romer's punishment for perjury. Newson had borrowed a bystander's cell phone to call for a ride. A confrontation with Romer escalated and Newson was taken into custody. Romer told a grand jury he placed Newson under arrest before punching him. A conversation also recorded by surveillance proved he had not. And Romer told him, if I let you go after having to throw you on the ground and hit you, then I'm in trouble. He didn't have to throw him on the ground and hit him. But he committed to a lie on that day. And we're here four and a half years later, still dealing with it. Charges against Newsom of trespassing and resisting arrest were later dropped. Romer's attorney argued for probation and called the perjury case bogus. It's a case that has no bones. It has a case that has no substance. It's a case that has no materiality. The statement, you're under arrest, is not material to anything that was litigated in this courtroom. It's a complete jellyfish of a case. You know, as a police officer, uh, we fairly expect as citizens uh, for you to be a person that upholds the law. And when you fall into uh, making false statements, using excessive force uh, against citizens, then it's our duty uh, to call you out on that and to act appropriately. The judge in this case decided five years behind bars is appropriate. Do you understand these rights, Mr. Romer? Sheriff, he's your prisoner. Now, Romer could have faced as much as 10 years in prison. It is not yet clear if the state will pursue pending charges of official oppression since any sentence he received for that could not be longer than what he received today. Fucking dumbass. Dumbass cop, bro. At the end of the day, that's a job for anybody who's looking to get in law enforcement. As long as these cops keep fucking up, keep trying to get away with shit, you know, this law got a way of bringing that shit, hey, bringing it back to you, bro. No matter what you think, you ain't gonna get away from this law, bro. I'm up away.